The Nigeria Air Force on Tuesday deployed three helicopters to tackle looters that descended on National Youth Service Corps NYSC orientation camp in Kobwa in Abuja. Hoodlums attacked the orientation camp in the early hours of Tuesday, cutting away mattresses, motorcycles and other um, household items. The hoodlums forced their way into the camp after defying the security operatives at the gate. In a related development, hoodlums also attacked the office of the Nigeria Customs Service in Gwangalada. The hoodlums in their hundreds reportedly stormed the customs office to loot food items that were allegedly seized from smugglers. Reports say gunshots were heard from the premises of the customs office, but records of any casualty is not certain. TVC Three Sisters correspondent Atinuke Nuki has been monitoring the situation in Abuja. She joins us now via telephone. Atinuke, thank you for joining us. Now, it seems the situation in Abuja um, is getting out of hand um, with the looting of NYC orientation camp in Cuba and customs office in Guangalada. Now, tell us more about these issues. Okay, about the NYC orientation camp in Cuba, Abuja, I'm sure it was because of the fallout of what happened in Guangalada yesterday. So, the looters laid siege at the NYC orientation camp but they were overpowered by the security operatives because at that point, the Nigerian army deployed soldiers, they deployed helicopters, we could see helicopters flying and hovering all around. Even the military trucks were also on standby. Interestingly, some suspects were arrested, even in Guagalada. Now, uh, Atinuke, it seems um, hoodlums are having a good day so far. Now, what do you think emboldens them to loot government offices um, like we've seen at the customs office? You know, we spoke with some of them, and I think what is building their confidence is because they think that they would not be arrested or they think that they would not be convicted, or some of them even think that they would not be shot at. Because after interviewing some people, they said they were not afraid of being um, convicted or they would not be shot at. Because there some military personnel, yesterday in Guadalajara, some military personnel were there calming them down. So they thought... They came there today again with the idea that it would be the same. Game changed. They have started arresting people. And you would recall that the Nigerian army had earlier warned looters or any form of vandalism that they would be adequately dealt with. Together with the civil defense, the civil defense also issued that warning that anyone caught in the act of looting or any form of vandalism will be dealt with. And so far, they've arrested suspects, a number of them. Um, now, finally, at New K, um, you know, most Nigerians are curious. Now, most of the looting happened now um, at the FCT seems to be outside the central area. Why is this so? Is there any particular reason? Yeah, from the look of things, the security situation in the central area in Abuja is more than the one in the outskirts. Because the investigation shows that the one in the outskirts and trying to get to the outskirts is a little bit more, um, it's not as intense as the one in town. But as it is right now, security operatives have been deployed in those places. If you're coming into the border, security operatives, the advanced trucks and everything has been de uh, deployed as against how it was yesterday and um, some weeks back. Oh, thank you very much, um, Atinuke, for joining us and shedding more light to these issues. You're welcome, Fulashadi.